Hey guys, Carrie Tetsu here, and this next video is going to focus primarily on the Dr. HUD. So right now I'm logged in as myself, as a pregnant female avatar, and that's the first step. So JS Greenwood is going to role play as my doctor. So before this begins, I want to send him a partner HUD. That's how he's going to have access to my data so he can role play as a doctor. So I click share experience, I click new partner, I select him and he is sent the partner HUD. By doing this, it enables him then to wear the doctor HUD and sync with me. So that's the first step. I'm going to log off as myself and log back in as him, and then I'll show you how the doctor HUD works. All right, guys, I'll be right back. Hey guys, so I am now logged in as JS Greenwood, and here we have four items in the inventory. I'm going to first right click and add the doctor HUD. So it appears to my left. So over here, I need to sync with the mother. So I first click this icon right here. I'm going to type in the name and click submit. So right now I'm synced with Carrie Tatsu. I'm role playing as the doctor, even though I don't really look like a doctor. Um, and I am now synced with Kari Tatsu. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on health request and delivery, delivery request. This basically says that I'm going to ask Kari Tatsu if I can review her health and if I can assist in delivering a baby. So first I click health request and it says sending a health data permission request to Kari Tatsu and then delivery request. And now Carrie Tatsu has to accept that and say allow. So um, I'm going to do that right now. Okay. Once that happens, you see a check mark appears. So now not only am I synced with Carrie Tatsu, but health is granted and delivery is granted. You can also see here um, her fertility is, is low right here. You can see her mood levels are high. She's fertile, which means that she can potentially potentially get pregnant, but she's not pregnant. So you don't see any of this other data below here. So the first thing we're going to do is JS Greenwood is going to play the doctor and inseminate Carrie Tetsu. So I'm going to res this insemination towel. Let's move it around. Okay, now my main avatar, Kari Tetsu, is going to sit on the towel. So here I go, I'm going to sit on the towel. Okay, so here I am in a pose to be inseminated. Now imagine this is at a doctor's clinic. The doctor can click here and hide the mat or show the mat. Um, raise up the towel so it can sit on a chair or a doctor's chair. So the doctor has flexibility to do different things. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove any animation AO I'm wearing. So I'm going to detach this. So now my avatar is not animating because we don't want animations to interfere with the poses. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to res something called the clinic insemination pose. And I'm going to right click and sit. So one quick thing you can see I'm <laughs> sitting on my on Carrie Tetsu's head. If I do control alt T, it turns the invisible option on and I can move myself away and rotate myself. So I want to do that next. And now I kind of have a sense of where this ball is. I'm going to click the ball and say test animation. So ultimately what I'm trying to do is align myself up where when I get an insemination stick, my hand goes in the correct location. So test animation. So I'm a little bit further out but as the doctor, you can position yourself and you can position the mat so you align relatively well with the animation. So maybe I'll go move out a little bit more. Okay. 
Okay. Let's remember Control Alt T. All right. The next thing I'm going to do is I am going to buy the insemination. So I'm the doctor, I'm buying this, and I'm going to receive it. I have it. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and add that. Now suddenly my HUD changed and it says insemination procedure. So I click that, prepare for insemination, I click that, and here I'm aligned to inseminate the pregnant female avatar who is currently not pregnant yet. So the next thing I do is I complete insemination. So I'll just rotate the camera this way. And really, the doctor is just inseminating. So one important thing about this is that as a doctor, you often want to click this recycle button because it gives you immediate access to data. So the server doesn't constantly have to talk to the HUD. You click the recycle button to see the status of the female. So right now, the status is seated. So that means that the insemination took, but she's not pregnant yet, she's just seated. So it's up to the woman now to actually start her term. So I'm going to go do that because I'm role playing as both the pregnant female avatar as well as the doctor. So I'm going to start my term. And by doing starting term, I have the female avatar HUD on and I go to the pregnancy section and I click the baby icon and I click start term. So one really important thing is that even if you're seated as the female, you have to have an egg to start a term. So the next important thing is that it's important as the doctor that you click the refresh button because now that gives immediate data on the status of the mother. So now you can see that my status is I'm caring, I set the term rate to nine days. So the doctor has all this information. The doctor can see when the term um, start date was, the day, there's only one day, the mother's on stage one, um, it's going to be another day until she moves up in a stage, there was zero, the estimated due date, so all those things. So basically, that's the first step for insemination. So you can see here, no babies to deliver, and that's because the mother is just inseminated. She hasn't actually gone through all the stages to deliver her baby. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring Carrie Tattoo to full term and then come back here and show you how J.S. Greenwood can deliver the baby. So I'll be right back. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is get rid of the insemination mesh because I don't need it anymore. And now I have to click recycle again to get the most recent data on the mother since you can see she's full term now. So I click recycle and now you can see ready to go. Um, basically she's due today. But I want to show you a few things. If you click on the pregnancy store, here you can actually get the mother a pregnancy test. You can give her a paternity test. Again, where, like I showed you before, you can get insemination. Here you can buy her vegan gummies or prenatal vitamins or omega-3s and love crystals. These, these things increase her mood levels. So love crystals increase her love. Um, one of these increases her rest, another increases her hunger. You can also pay for a gender reveal. So if she doesn't know if she's having a boy or a girl, you can click this and find out for her. Also, you can find out who the partner is. So the difference between the partner reveal and the paternity test is the partner reveal basically guarantees who the partner is. You will find out without a doubt. The paternity test, you actually have to type in a name and guess who the partner is. So that's the store. So the next thing I'm going to do as the doctor, 
I'm going to res the pregnancy mat. So it's called the Love Mama Clinic Birther Towel. Let me move it up. And now the mother is going to sit on this. So at this point, the mother can also raise and lower the hover height. Um, so she's aligned with the towel. As a doctor, you can raise and lower this. So if you want her to deliver on a chair in your clinic, you can basically hide the mat or you can hide the pillow or you can show the mat and you can show the pillow. So what you want to do is assist in baby delivery. So you click that button and here basically you go through the different steps. You can break the mother's water. She has to be standing for that. You can skip this. You can start delivery and you can align the saddle for her. So here it's kind of low. So you want to move her down. So I, as the doctor, I'm controlling this. The mother is not, I'm controlling this. She's in my clinic and I'm controlling how she, how she moves and where the baby's going to come out. Once I click start delivery, let me move out of here. We'll have to remove her underwear. Basically, I'm controlling, birthing is starting, I'm controlling. So the head is going to pause here and I can role play through this experience. I can click next stage. And as a doctor, I can basically make this as long or as short as I want. So sometimes the mother will, it, it will pop up and down initially while the animations load, but once the animations are loaded, she doesn't do that anymore. So here comes the baby. So the next thing I'm going to do is click finalize birth. And what happens then is it says that she had a baby boy. If she made any wishes, the wishes would appear here. And the mother is sent a newborn picker so she can pick out her newborn. And that's pretty much it. That's the entire thing. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.